Hello folks, Double Tap here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be pressure barreling our Burton 4X Gold Seal Bitter. So, a couple of things I want to do first actually. Because we'll be priming this, I've weighed out some sugar and I think I'm going to start that into our hot water. I just want it to dissolve. Now, the rule of thumb uh, with weighing out this, you can go on different forums, but for a bitter, you're looking at five grams of sugar per litre of beer. That can go up to about eight grams if you're doing a lager or a cider, any, anything like that, really. So, let's get this sugar in here. Now, this sugar, like I said, has been weighed out, but it's quite a clumpy sugar, this is but it is one of my favourites, it's called uh, Billington's I think yeah, Billington's brown sugar and it's a refined cane sugar but it's one of the more expensive types so you could do this with normal granulated sugar or priming sugar, brewing sugar, you know so that's all of that in there now, I have had all my stuff in a sanitizer, even though it's a stainless steel spoon. Still got a load of stuff in there, which we'll be using in a minute. I'm gonna just give this a bit of a stir. And as you can see, just turn that water. It looks like gravy, don't it? <laughs> but we ain't got loads. We ain't got loads in here. Okay, that's that. So let's get a couple of things out of here. So we've got our trial and or specimen jar, that'll go in there. Uh, we've got our hydrometer. Now I have been doing various kits today and doing various beer reviews so this is why I've got a load of gear out but first I want to see what this beer is like. I mean, we've had this at a constant. This has been 18 to 20 degrees. This one is the Beer Baron's recipe. It's been in the fermenter just over two weeks. And for this one, we used um, the dark spray malt. Uh, we used honey, we dry hopped it with English uh, hops. And we obviously used the, the Burton 4X Bitter. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, the malt, sugar, dry hops and honey. Yeah, okay. So, I want to take a reading with the hydrometer. But first, let's have a little smell. Oh, straight away. Oh, that is strong, that is. That is really strong. Oh, bloody hell. Let's give you a little loving look. Okay, here we go. Look at that. And e even standing, you know, a foot or two away from it, you can still smell it. It's extremely strong, that is. I think uh, the ABV is going to come in quite strong on that one. I really do, judging by what it smells like. Right. Get a bit of beer in here, so we can get the final gravity. Is that going to float? No. Nope. So a bit more. What are you saying there? Put that there a minute. Okay, it's going to float, but as you can see, the bubbles in it are. Uh, stopping me from seeing that. I'll probably just put the hydrometer reading on the screen now for you anyway. But check out that colour. It's a very light brown. You can see through it and it's got uh, like a golden amber tint to it. You know, but uh, we'll, we'll, see. we'll see what that's uh, like. Just put that to one side for a minute. Let's 
get our pressure barrel open. Now, on these, with mine, I've got a seal cap on it, which just comes off. You've also got the off and the on position. Make sure it's in the off position because you don't want your beer flowing everywhere. This has been fully cleaned and sanitised. So to get that into position there, that's there. Let's make sure our sugar's dissolved. And it feels like it is. Just put that to one side for a second while I pour this in. Uh, can you see this that on the camera? I don't think you can. So just put it back up there for a second so you can see it a bit better while we pour this in. And like I was saying, this has been mixed at a uh, 5 gram per litre ratio that has. So let's have that there. We'll put that there. Uh, no, we don't want that. It's alright, I'm just looking for my siphoning tube. Okay, as per usual, we'll be going down the side of the fermenter all the way to the bottom because we don't want none of that nasty stuff coming out. And in the beer pops. So what I'll do is, while I'm, fill fill while I'm filling <laughs> the pressure barrel up, I'm going to stop the video here and we'll take it up when our pressure barrel is full. We've now got all of our beautiful Burton 4x Gold Cell Bitter in our pressure barrel. There's a couple of little things I want to do. First, cheers folks, I'm going to try a little bit of it. Oh yeah, loads of flavour in there. Quite strong, like I said before. But uh, don't want to ruin it for you because we will be doing a beer review. What I've actually done is, the majority has gone in the pressure barrel, but I've bottled up four pints and carbonated it, obviously sealed it as well. So we'll be doing a beer review with those because I do like them in the bottles. At some point, I'll probably be putting this in bottles anyway. I like to put it in the pressure barrel. When I run out of bottles, I turn to this, fill it up, and you can store beer in there, no problems whatsoever. What I won't be doing is, I won't be gassing it, because the sugar will aid in the secondary fermenting. So it should uh, carbonate as well as ferment out whatever yeast is left in there. So like I said, just a couple of things to do, and we'll crack on with that now. In here, you've got a little white rubber seal. What I like to do is put a tiny amount of Vaseline around it, and it'll aid with the sealing. Okay. <clears throat> Right, it's just a very thin coating this is. Let's get that on there. Okay, not doing it really tight at this point because I have been shaking the beer to mix the sugar in it as it's been filling. <clears throat> we'll give it one last shake now to mix the rest of, well, Mix a bit of the sugar that's in there. This is going to build up the pressure in the barrel there. That should do it because like I said, I have been giving it a bit of a swill as it's been filling so you'll probably hear the pressure release now. There you go. And that is it. That's on nice and tight. So we're going to give that a good month, probably a lot longer, and uh, we'll try it out, but obviously we'll be trying it from the bottles first, but let me give you a little look at what we had left over in the fermenter. 
There you go. Nice and thick and gloopy that is. Give my hand a little swill. Okay, where's my towel gone? <laughs> like I say, I've been doing beers all day today, as well as bottling, and been doing it now for six hours. But it's all done now. What I will say is, um, apart from the beer reviews, this might be the last beer kit I'm doing for a couple of weeks for the simple reason. Uh, my house is sold, uh, should be moving next week. I've already brought another place, uh, but that's the other end of the country. Um, so the beer reviews will carry on, but I might not be doing any uh, beer kits for the next few weeks. Once I've moved and got settled in, obviously I'll start it up again. The channel isn't closing or anything like that, so don't get going anywhere for the simple reason the beer reviews and there'll be little bits and bobs of videos coming on. Hopefully, like I say, everything will be sorted within a couple of weeks and I'll be moving next week. So, fingers crossed that'll all work out, folks. But just want to keep you informed just in case you think uh, I'm not doing videos and stuff like that because they will still be going up. But instead of it being on a Wednesday <coughs> and a Sunday, excuse me, <coughs> um, it should be probably a beer review once a week, just to keep the channel ticking over that little bit until the move's sorted, then I can get back to making my beer kits because I do love home brewing now. Um, it's a, I've said it many times, it's a fantastic hobby and the rewards speak for themselves, folks. So I think on that note, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm Double Tap and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the like button, leave your comments Subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. I try and get back to the comments near enough as soon as I see them. Uh, but if there's a bit of a delay, you'll know the reason why. So, I'll catch you in the next episode, folks. So, bye for now.